Kembali lagi Sport Plus Studio tentunya bersama gue Sultan dan juga Mahir Raja. Mahir Raja. Uh, tentu ya banyak yang sudah terjadi setelah terakhir kali kita um, take ya sama podcast sama Bung Tio. Sama, sama Bung Tio waktu itu. Ya, tentu ya waktu itu kita preview Piala Asia dan dan hari ini timnas bakal main lawan yes. Jepang partai penentu. Sekarang kita, kita udah di tahap di mana ini harapan semua ya. publik Indonesia nih. Ya kita berdoa sama-sama supaya semoga bisa dikasih. Pantai. antara hidup dan mati lah ya, ini. Semoga ya semoga bisa lolos. Amin. Tapi lu gimana? Senang sejauh ini sama performa Indonesia? Cukup puas enggak? Puas lah. Kita lihat kemarin lawan sebenarnya lawan Irak juga mereka main bagus. Hmm, bagus. Cuman ya mungkin ada pengaruh dari faktor gol kedua tuh ya. Kontroversial juga kan? Hmm. Dan offside ya. Iya, offside lawan Vietnam udah kelihatan apa? Lu bisa lihat sendiri kan. Ya semoga bisa mempertahankan performa itu nanti malam dan Amin. bisa lolos ke babak enam besar. Jepang. Amin. Ya, amin, 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 amin. Apapun itu, semoga yang terbaik buat timnas Indonesia. Uh, tentunya sama seperti episode sebelumnya, hari ini kita udah ada bintang tamu yang bisa dibilang cukup spesial karena ini akan menjadi episode yang Agak berbeda, sedikit nih. berbeda dibanding episode-episode lainnya. Uh, tentunya dia pemain tim nasional Singapura, salah satu pemain termuda yang pernah main buat tim nasional Singapura ketika dia melakukan debutnya untuk uh, tim, nasional. tim nasional Singapura dan sekarang dia adalah idolanya masyarakat Madura. Jadi langsung saja kita sambut. Peratan Muslim. Bukan. Coki, Coki Parade. Coki Parade. <laughs> Ini dia Jacob, Jacob Muller. Jacob. How are you, man? Good. Good. Oh, nice to Thank you. Eh, enggak berbeda ya. Kita mungkin akan menggunakan bahasa biar orang-orang di belakang ini kerja sedikit kita kerjain. Jadi kita akan menggunakan bahasa internasional yeah. Inggris. Jacob, obviously, first of all, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for doing this with us. Thank you. Um, yes, as he said, we're going to do this in English. I mean, it's not because that you don't speak Indonesian. You speak perfectly good Indonesian, <laughs> but we figured it's, it's going to be easier for you to yeah, do it in English. Of course, so. of course. Thank you so yeah. much. Listen, there's a lot to cover. Well, there's a lot of subjects we'd like to touch on with you, but I think we're going to start with, um, you know, how's Indonesia been treating you? Man? No, I, I'm really loving Indonesia. I think I've moved here not too much six seven months ago yeah. and ever since I've been here I think it's been a a really nice experience you know the, I, I'm enjoying the culture here I mean I had a bit of a you know I, I used to live in Jakarta many years ago when mm-hmm. I was two yeah. but uh, uh. no yeah I, I, I really enjoy it here the football the, the people you know everything about here is it's, it's very nice and I really enjoy it Has everything lived up to your uh, to your expectation? Yeah, of course. I mean, with the fans, of course. Before coming here, I was already expecting, you know, the, I mean, in terms of football, I guess with the fans, you yeah. know, I think Indonesia as a, as a whole has really amazing fans, mm-hmm. and I mean, it's definitely, you know, lived up to it, and uh, I'm really enjoying the football here. Right. So I saw you you live in Jakarta before, yeah? Yeah, yeah. When I was so I was born in Denmark. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when I was two. Due to my mom and my dad, mm. their work, they moved to Jakarta. Mm. So we all moved to Jakarta, and I lived here for two years. Yeah. And then I moved to Singapore when I was four. What do you remember from your time in Jakarta when you were two years old? Not much, but uh, I remember I going to preschool. Yeah. You know, studying here a little bit, but yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I just basically don't remember much. But yeah, yeah. So two years old, man. I mean, I don't, I don't remember anything when I was two years old. <laughs> Sorry. So your your parents uh, half. So your mom was your mom is Singapore from Singapore, Singapore and Chinese and my da- Singapore Chinese and my dad is Danish Denmark. Denmark, Denmark, Denmark yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So talk to us about uh, you know little Jacob. How was li- uh, how life was like for him? Or has it always been football? No, I mean I've only started playing football at the age of seven, seven, eight. You're a quick learner then. No. I I wouldn't say quick, but uh, <laughs> no, I guess young Jacob was always running around doing crazy stuff. I mean, I'm the only child in my family, right. so it's just me. So, uh, you know, all the attention is on me, blah, 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 everything. My parents are looking at me, so, but now when I was seven, I, you know, my dad used to, to be downstairs watching TV, mm-hmm. watching football, and I 
one time stumbled upon it and I, I, I watched it with him and I told him, yo, uh, your dad, I want to to stop playing football, I want to try it. Yeah. You know, it looks fun, you know, yeah. on the TV, so let me go, you know, try it out. They registered me to a, a soccer school called Brazilian Soccer School in Singapore. Okay, in Singapore, yeah. Yeah, and then slowly from there, you know, things took off. I really enjoyed it and I guess you could say I had like a, a talent, you know, in mm -hmm. a sense mm -hmm. like I was not bad so yeah you know i enjoyed it and my, i had the full support from my parents and i slowly continued continue continue until slowly becoming professional and everything so so yeah so was it your dad who got you into football yes i would say my dad my yeah. dad he used to to play football as well but ah. in like division 10 in denmark which right. is amateur league and he used to tell me stories of him winning the cup in division 10 yeah. so yeah yeah no i would say my dad you know my dad enjoys football and me and him we watch football together all the time till yeah. now whenever i'm in singapore we support manchester united tough times nice. tough that's your times. friend right there tough times now <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no yeah we i enjoy watching with him and yeah. he loves watching me play so yeah have, have, have you ever been to Madura to watch you play? Yes, yeah? he has come one, twice. Once I was injured against Persik Kadiri, your old team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was injured. Uh, that was like the second game of the season mm -hmm. in yeah. Pamakasan, and the second one was against uh, Percy Bandong in, 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 in Bangkalan. Oh, in Bangkalan. In Bangkalan, yeah. He came yeah. So I guess it's the same old story as like, just like, every other boy who yeah, grew up to be a professional player you know it's always their dads who mm -hmm, got yeah. them into football it's it's the same story for us our yeah. dad got us into football but he went on to be a, pl a player i was i was the rubbish one uh, <laughs> but how was your dad like uh, what was your dad like you know not only as a father but uh, yeah. did he used to coach you no, no 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 never never he never coached me i mean he, of course you know as a dad he used to always give me small little comments on yeah. what i can do better you know as a kid and still now he watches every single game like okay. even in singapore i used to come to the extent where my mom and dad would come to every single training i went for just to watch me right. play i mean the support they've given me since i've been a kid has been amazing you know like yeah. just you know, sending me to training, picking me up, cooking for me, all this type of stuff. I think the both of them. But for my dad, you know, he, he of course pushes me more. You know, I guess obviously he understands more football than my yeah. mother. Yeah. So, you know, he gives me certain advices and all these type of things. But no, I think that they've been very, I think something I, I'm very grateful for is that yeah. they've bo both been very supportive, supportive yeah. in my career, you know whatever every, everything that's happened in my career so far i think I, I owe a lot to them and their support and their their guidance you know i think they've guided me in the perfect way and I, i'm so grateful for them yeah so you said uh, you mentioned that uh, your first football school was the brazilian school uh, yes football brazilian school. soccer school uh can you like paint us a picture of how the youth football system in, in, in Singapore, what was the path like to the no, professional no, journey? Sure, yeah, I guess. So at seven, obviously, it's still a young age, you know, seven to around, I started at this Brazilian soccer school and then I went to this Arsenal soccer school. Wow. And then at the age of 12, 13, there were trials for like the Singapore youth team, like a, 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 a it's called a NFA, National mm -hmm. Football mm -hmm. Academy of mm -hmm. Singapore. So I, I trialed and I managed to get into squad. So since I've been 13 years old all the way to 18, okay. I was in like in the, the youth teams of like, cause Singapore is a very small country. Yeah. So yeah. there's only one, I know here there's many yeah. all yeah, over. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's just one real national okay. academy, I guess. And then obviously there's still small teams around it, but the national academy. So I was in there since I was 13 to around 17. Mm -hmm. So since then I was 13, under 14, under 15, slowly yeah. progressing and I represented the country like in the under 13 AFF, under 14, under okay. 15 yeah. AFF. And then slowly when I was 17, I was still there. And then I got called up to this in team called Young Lions yeah. in Singapore. And that's where I signed my first Off professional channel. contract and everything like that. So yeah. So the NFA, is that owned by the? Singaporean it's FA? All, oh yeah, owned by the FAS, the Singapore FA. Okay, so basically that's where the, the, the best, best players, players in the country. Yeah, I guess you could say so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could say that, yeah. So I think the path is more, it's clearer than yeah, of course. in Indonesia. Because yeah. as you said, it's there are too many soccer schools, football yeah, schools. In Indonesia, I mean, Not yeah, that I mean, it's a bad thing, but no, it's no, just no. Um, it's a bit complicated. And no, there's no course. one uh, yes. footballing academy that mm -hmm. 
shows a clear path to yeah exactly so yeah. i mean of course in indonesia that's it's such a big country yeah, maybe it's yes. more difficult to uh, yeah of course yeah yeah, 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 yeah. With the population yeah, with the and how big indonesia yeah. is phew, yeah it's, it's a bit difficult yeah. for sure well we've seen development uh, throughout the years obviously the, uh, right now there's uh, garuda select yeah. yes, 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 uh, there used to be the netflix and eh, not netflix the youtube series yeah, yeah. do you yes i have oh. i've watched it many like when i was younger i watched it all the time so Did you see him in the video really Who was <laughs> <laughs> no i was i came in late so i was just there what uh, this season last season so oh. there were no documentaries uh, okay. it's, but that's the only thing that I was looking forward to when I was when I was told that I was going to be joining Garuda Select yeah. oh, fuck, I'm going to be on TV <laughs> but no oh, man but I guess Young Lions mm -hmm. what was that like is um, it's not something that you find uh, I guess in most countries yeah uh, a team where it's basically like the under 23 team yes it's like a it's more of like a development team so I mean uh, it's like more like you know did we participate in the league obviously it's it's difficult but uh it's more for development we are basically like an under 23 team like you said we prepare for tournaments like the sea games yeah. the aff under 23 the afc qualification mm -hmm. so yeah of course it's it's different it's it's a difficult project you know it's it's very challenging because of yeah. course your young boys playing against grown men, mm -hmm. you know, playing against foreigners, 28 year olds, 29 year olds, professionals. Yeah. They've been playing the, playing professionally for five, six years. But no, I think it, it, it grew me to who I am. You know, I played there for almost five years. Yeah. I, I never left because I, I think I, I, I really, I think what it, what it helped me was it gave me a lot of game time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's easy for me for an 18 year old to just go to a, another team and maybe sit on the bench and maybe yeah, not as yeah. get as much game yeah. time and you know it's difficult that's the most important thing yeah especially so when, you're, when you're younger yeah. you need to develop and the only way to develop i mean of course is your training but yeah the game time being yeah. out there playing you know professional competitive football yeah. 90 minutes week in week out i think that shaped me to who i am and of course it was tough you know there were many losses there but i think it, it built my character as yeah. a person yeah. and who I am today and it, it helped me grow tremendously so um, yeah. I owe a lot to, to Young Lions and you know I think yeah. yeah like I said it shaped me to who I am today and because also it's, I think it's the main objective of the li Young Lions you know yeah of course not, not, not to not win to the win. league no yeah, no of give course the young players the young players chance, it's like a, yeah. to prepare yeah. for competitions yes. like the SEA Games yeah. and all that you know because the youth leagues in Singapore are not very well developed you know it's it's very difficult in Singapore. There's limitations with how small the country yeah. is, the, f the fields. Yeah. There's not a lot of fields. Like here, you drive 10, 20 minutes, you see one field. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So in Singapore, it's it's difficult with the land and everything. So the youth leagues are not as well as it should be, and that's something I think they're trying to achieve now. But you know, yeah, with this young lions, it gave me the opportunity to grow in the most optimal surrounding and everything yeah so the uh, the young lions is that where say the singapore under 23 national team yeah. is that where everyone play i think i would say majority some obviously uh, okay. choose different paths you know some choose maybe oh i don't want to go to young lions maybe they don't yeah. want the the struggle i guess mm -hmm. or the the hardship mm -hmm. so some maybe go to a club and hopefully things work out and sometimes it works out for them yeah you know so it's also like because in singapore you have to do army i have to serve uh, okay two years I done, I yeah i've done, yeah, done yeah. it before i came to madura i was in the army so right. from for two years the, yeah for two years from the age of 20 to 22 yeah i was in the army oh but you can still play football i can still play. i mean of course it's difficult but mm -hmm. so uh we go into the army doing so from 17 to 19 i was in young lions yeah and then i stopped for a bit for three months to do your basic military mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. and slowly you get shipped out to like a specific job like yeah, i was like yeah. a store man which is like store i was like man. in the store handling equipments <laughs> oh, you know, right. more, more of a chill job because yeah. if i had to do a tough job i couldn't play football yeah so i would be working from 5 a.m to 5 p.m and then i would go for training mm -hmm. to young lions because young lions is the the only way you could go you could leave the army to train for oh, football okay. So okay. I would from Monday to Friday I'll be working in the army training and then on the weekends we would have Young Lions games and 
all these type of things. So, so yeah, Young Lions is also an option for us to do when we uh, are. Yeah. Also, they so they only allow you to to play for play Young Lions when we're in the army because I think that has a, it's a bit of like a collaboration yeah. in the yeah. army of with the army of Singapore and Young Lions, you know, because. Yeah, and I mean, all of us are at the age 20, because in Singapore, you go to the army once you're done with school. Yeah. So I finished school when I was around 19-ish. Nine, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I went into the army and then, yeah, so it's also a platform for us to, to, to go in there when we're in the army. That's so, interesting. So, yeah. What was that like, you know, being in the army while play also still playing football? Nah, yeah, it was it was tiring. It was it was really tiring because, you know, you wake up 5 a.m., you do all your army stuff. And yeah. You go for training afterwards. And yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, I would rather not do it. I mean, it's yeah. mandatory. <laughs> you know, it's mandatory. Every boy, man in Singapore yeah. has to do it. But uh Nah, yeah, of course, I, I, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. Of course, it was very difficult, a lot of hardships, but I, I had to do it and it's done now. So now I can fully, I feel like now after finishing, I can fully pursue my, my football yeah, career and, yeah. you know, achieve what I can hopefully achieve, you know, like the, the, the best outcome and all that. So, yeah. So, yeah. So being in the army, did that do anything to your uh, football inside of it mentally? No, of course, mentally it was tough, you know, like I think for any footballer when you are at the age of 20, 21, 22, that's where you really develop. Yeah. You want to really be putting your 120, 30 yeah. percent into football. And I feel like I couldn't do that, you know, and I feel like I was, of course, I feel like it, it did halt, like it did yeah. stop my yeah. potential to grow more. But I mean, it's life and I also got my ACL injury during that period. Yeah. I think I wouldn't say like I give it down to that. But of course, mm -hmm. I think with how because I remember I was I had a, I had a game on a Wednesday. You played a role in it. I feel like it did yeah. the fatigue, the yeah. tiredness, yeah. you know, I had a game on a Wednesday night at 7 p.m. I went from five to five in the army and then I'm rushing to the game. Yeah. And it was just before the C games in Manila? No, Manila I played, the one in Vietnam, ah, okay. Hanoi, I don't know. No, no. 2021? 2022. 22. Yeah, the one in, was it Indonesia got second? Second place, Se yeah. Second place? No, they no that was last second, year. Second, second place was in, in that was Manila. Manila. Yeah. Manila, yes. Third place. Third place, yeah, correct, third place. yes. The one that Indonesia got third place. Yeah. So just before that, I tore my ACL and it was like the worst feeling. Like, it's just like, I was going there, I was going to be the captain for the under 23 yeah. side. I was yeah. going to captain the side. I was going to, you know, it's my, I guess, a big breakout before yeah. I leave the army to go. So hopefully I can go overseas to play. So I was looking forward to it. And then on a Wednesday, the last game, literally, I think two weeks, one week before we leave to, yeah. to, to Vietnam, yeah. I tore my ACL. I was like, my, my that's, that's the part of being yeah, a footballer. Yeah, and I was just like, wow, this is like the lowest I've ever yeah. been in my that career. That was supposed to be your, your first major yeah. tournament, wasn't it? Not say major, but like, I mean, I've obviously, because I, I made my national team debut when oh, I was... Oh, you made it before that? Yeah, I was, I was 18 right. when I made my national team mm -hmm. debut for Singapore. But... Uh, to be the captain and lead yeah. the Yeah, the captain the to lead the, the nation yeah. in a big... Stage. Big C games, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. like, and it was my last C games as well because I was 22 oh, yeah, yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, yeah, this is the one I really want to make it count. I really want to do something, you know. Yeah. Like I want to achieve. Because Singapore, I think, I don't know what was the best result we've got in the C games, but I don't think we have ever won the C games mm -hmm. before. I'm not too sure. I think we got second. Maybe that yeah, was the best, yeah. but that was in 2008, ago, eight, eight or something uh, like that. A long time ago. So I was like, okay, I'm the captain this year. You know, like I yeah. want to do something. I want to achieve something. And then, like, uh, heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. Was, especially as uh, for us, you know, Southeast Asians, yeah. C games is the one thing that we, yeah, we guess, all like grew up take, watching. You, know, you take yeah. a lot of pride into it so. as well. So. Yeah, but I guess that's life and... Yeah. yeah, talk to me about the ACL injury though, because, uh, you know, he, he also yeah. did his ACL. Yeah. How, did, how did you get it? Huh? So, uh... Was it, it in it, training? It, no, it was in the game, oh. in, in the game. So, in Singapore, there's a lot of artificial yeah. pitches. So, yeah. We don't use natural yeah, yeah. grass. And I wouldn't say it was the, the pitch itself, but my foot got stuck on the ground and ah, my okay. knee went inwards. And I heard a pop and I started screaming yeah. and... I, I, I knew I, I did something wrong with my knee and yeah, I mean, it was the worst. I mean, the ACL, apart from ACL, your, tearing your Achilles is probably the 
one of the worst injuries yeah. a footballer yeah. can yeah. can get. So of course it's 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 the worst feeling, I guess. I mean, the first two three weeks of after I got the injury was difficult. It was difficult to accept. Mm -hmm. You know, I think mm -hmm. as as a person like. I was just there. I was just like, "Wow, this is life. Is, is my career yeah, over? Yeah. Is 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 it is this the end or like, what is it? I mean, but I guess after time and with my family and with my friends' support, you know, I guess the first part was to accept that I've got the injury. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay. I was like in my head, I'm like, okay, I have this injury. I can't do anything about it now. You know, let's get the surgery done yeah. as soon as possible and let's start the." the rehab yeah. so I can get back as soon as possible and even even better than before yeah. you know so going through intensive rehab for six months seven months was challenging yeah. as well you know no do it like I'm going to the gym every, yeah, every single day. day and then doing the same thing the same every thing day. and then sometimes you don't see improvement and yeah. you're like yeah I, I, like That's you know it's stress like yeah. like you you're just there like damn is this mm. Like I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting yeah. better. Like yeah. you know, it, it's difficult. Like, I, like I, I'm stuck. You know, like, but you know, slowly just pushing, pushing, pushing. You know, with the help with the physio yeah. and all that. You know, slowly progressing. You know, I guess the the small wins along the way. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, now I can finally do a full squat. Yeah. Now I can finally yeah. run on the jog. treadmill jog. Yeah. You know, like all these other things. Yeah. You know, it, it helped and yeah, but it was just. For me, it was the toughest point of my career so far, and but yeah, I guess it, it made me stronger, yeah. you know, for sure. Like, it made me realize certain things in my career that I need to pay attention to, like my recovery, yeah. my you know, activation yeah. before a game, all this type of small little details, you know, nutrition, you nutrition know, what, what yeah, exactly what you eat, what, what, what you do, how you're resting, yeah. you know, it made me realize the importance of it because you know, as a young footballer, you're 18, 19. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. You know, yeah. I'm just enjoying playing yeah. football. You know, but when you go on, you realize that hey, when I get older, mm -hmm. your body also st starts to wear down. You start getting injuries yeah. easier, yeah. small little mm -hmm. problems here and there. So yeah, I think it, it made me mature a lot as well during that period. Those eight months made me take a step back from football mm -hmm. and enjoying it and be like, okay, now I need to really reconsider every small detail in my yeah. life, every small detail I do on a daily basis for my football career. Yeah, so. Right, so, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Very wise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, injuries in football, it's, it's gonna happen. No, of course. It's gonna happen, but, you know, to pick up an ACL injury at mm -hmm. such a young age, how did that destroy you? Did that no, like, like I said, like, it was the worst feeling ever. Like, yeah. I'm 22 years old. I mean, I, I guess you could say it's better that I got it when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I get it older, they, <laughs> they do say, like, oh, more it's, stop, it's, it's yeah. more difficult yeah. to, to recover, to recover yeah. because yeah. Your, your body is different. Yeah. So in a young, when I'm younger, I guess it's your, your body recovers a lot faster. Yeah. And you How can, old were you when you got the... 22. 22. So... Uh, yeah, like I mean, like a, a 22 year old boy, I'm, I'm not, I'm still very immature, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, uh, yeah, oh my god, like this is the end, blah blah blah, yeah. like crying, all this. Like, I think, like, to a mental side, it's yeah. it's, it's 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 very difficult, it's and <laughs> like I'm, I'm stressing out about it, and like I'm thinking the worst of the situation, yeah. yeah. So, not yeah, but I guess with the help of my friends my family who support me like I told my mom and my dad like they really pushed me and you know like obviously there were thoughts like oh my god like I'm gonna retire like yeah. it's, it's done like you know my football career I haven't been able to to make my family proud or whatever so but no yeah I, I, I guess it it was the worst feeling but at least it happened now and I've matured from it yeah. and you know I can take all this life lessons from this process, you know, and bring it into the future as yeah. well. So and now you become back stronger and, yeah, and you know. still playing for the national team. Yeah, thankfully, hopefully, yeah. you know, you know, for stay injury time. free. Yeah. You know, I guess that's, that's, as we as footballers, you know, we want to stay injury free. I guess yeah. the least amount of injuries you yeah. get is the best. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so, so yeah. Did you go through the same experience? Did you have a breakdown yeah, when I you were recovering? I was also 22 when I got yeah. the yeah. same. And same, I was just by myself, you know, yeah, training, exactly. you know. and also because of fat fatigue, you know, yes. it was in prison and oh. I think 
uh, my my muscle is wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah, and of then course. I, get, I just I was sprinting and suddenly Stuck. My, my leg went like you know like this and and the time by the time I uh, I feel pain and I I knew it was, it was ACL and that's so difficult because you know I think at the time I thought oh this is my turning point because at the time I was tra- uh, before I was. I played in second division, you know, yeah. and then at the time I had, I just signed for the first division yeah. team, and then I get that injury, you know. And I don't it's the worst feeling. Yeah, yeah. the worst feeling. I feel you. I feel. I, f- I feel you. Yeah, no, for <laughs> real. Yeah. It's just. Yeah, man. I mean, I used to find him crying in the corner yeah. of his room every yeah. day. No, I'm not every day. No. <laughs> every, <laughs> every other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every other day. But national team, Jake. You mentioned um, you played for the national team when you were 18 18 wow that's yeah. that's very young for you for yeah I, I made mean my debut when i was 18 years old if i'm not mistaken you were you're the second or the yeah, third young third or second youngest third of i don't know third fourth fifth around there not oh the yeah. first the first is yeah, our Haris. current current Haris, captain Haris, yeah? uh, <coughs> sorry Haris Arun. yeah but uh yeah around, i'm like the third fourth fifth around there i'm not too sure what was that experience like is you know at, at 18 stepping in into a national team where it's filled with experienced mm-hmm, players. Of course, of course. What was that experience? No, it was, it was, because, so when I was 17, turning 18, I signed my first professional yeah. contract with Young Lions. Young Lions. And the trajectory was very fast. So I was only, when I was 18, 17, I was playing in the youth team. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, Coach Fandi Ahmad at that time, yeah. Yeah. who was coaching Young Lions and legend, the national yeah. team, yeah, mm-hmm. Singapore legend. Uh, he came to watch one of our games. He saw something in me, mm. and then he said, "Okay, I want to sign you for Young Lions, and I want you to go for this tournament in uh, Hassan Al Bokia, which is in ah, Brunei. Brunei okay. Yeah, in Brunei. So I went. I did well. Everything went well, and I played in the my, my, in the league. I started playing week in week out, and boom! Suddenly, I got my first national team call up yeah. in the same year. So everything was just like." Whew, so and I fast, made eh? everything was so fast, and I made my debut against Mongolia. Right. In a and this was for the this was in preparation for AFF Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. Before it was called now it's Mitsubishi. called the Mitsubishi. Yeah. So this was the Suzuki Cup. So it was in preparation. I got my call up in Mongol uh, in Singapore. I played in in the, in a stadium where my mom and dad was. Oh, okay. And it was the best feeling, you know, making a debut as an eighteen year old boy. I was playing in the midfield beside the captain Haris mm-hmm. Harun. You know, it was just a, it was a dream. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I was so it was overwhelming. I yeah, I was the best feeling ever. And having my family in the crowd was yeah. on top of it, even a better feeling. And yeah, and then I went on to play my second game in Cambodia, a friendly just before AFF, I scored yeah. a goal. Mm. So in your second ever game for yeah, the national, for team. national team, I scored a goal in- uh, You're living the dream, man. <laughs> in a 2-1 win, I scored the equalizer, we were 1-0 down. And then I went on to play in the AFF, but I was yeah, on the, yeah. obviously I was still a bench player, you know, still 18 year old boy sitting on the bench watching all the stars yeah. play, made a, one 10 minute uh, appearance, appearance against yeah. Philippines mm-hmm. but no nah, it was it was an amazing experience you know I, I'm so grateful for coach Fandi and mm-hmm. what he has done for me and he gave me the opportunity and I think it was it was amazing and yeah I mean as an 18 year old boy I think I mean since I was 12 years old or whatever yeah. I was dreaming yeah. of playing for Singapore yeah, you know I think for any footballer you dream to yeah, represent yeah, yeah. your yeah your nation you know so now nah, I was I was over the moon and it was the best feeling ever so you always wanted to play for Singapore since the beginning yeah, yeah, I mean I think Denmark huh? no of Not course Denmark. of course Denmark you could yeah. say it's a better yeah kind of, of yeah. course I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know Denmark is top 10 yeah. world yeah. ranking yeah. but of yeah. course the level and everything is difficult but I think I will always say if, if people come up to me and be like oh do you feel more Singaporean or more da- or more Danish you know I will always hunt Singaporean I grew up in, in Singapore, Singapore. Yeah. I feel like I have more of a a connection to Singapore you know I my 18 years of my life after four like <laughs> I grew up in Singapore and I I I, I, I am a, like a Singaporean boy you yeah, know like yeah. I love Asian food and uh, what's not to love <laughs> it's the best you know, I would choose Asian food over Western food yeah, any other yeah, day yeah, for yeah. me. So Maduran food also. Maduro? Nasi bebek. Yeah. Oh. Sate. 
So, oof. <laughs> oof. Oh, we're going to take you to the best payback place after yeah. this, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're on a holiday. No, it's a day off day for off. you. Day off, just day so off. So cheat day. Yeah, cheat day, yeah. Cheat day. <laughs> One meal won't hurt. <laughs> no, but uh, no, yeah. Uh, just, uh, I wanted to represent Singapore and yeah. Being given the opportunity, I, I'm so grateful. So, what was that like, you know, as a young boy, sharing a dressing room with uh, the best players across the country? No, of course, it's, it's it's a very good feeling, you know. Like, so I'm an 18 year old boy, and I'm seeing people that I there was once when I was 12 or yeah. 11. I was uh, yeah. I was like a little ah, mascot yeah, 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 walking yeah, yeah, out yeah, yeah. with. I walked out with. Agu Kasmir. Agu ah, Kasmir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he was yeah. playing in Lions 12 at yeah. the time, the Singapore team that was playing in the Malaysian League. Yeah. Striker, right? Striker, Striker, correct. I walked out with him and behind me was Bahaki. Okay. So I remember then when I suddenly when I stepped into the changing room the first the first time for training, I was just so nervous. Yeah. I was so scared. I'm like, damn. Because I, I was in Young Lions, so Young Lions, there were still 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds yeah. in the team. So it's not like your, 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 your national team. Yeah. So. I stepped into the changing room and I was just like, wow, I'm with behind, bah beside Bahaki, I'm beside Haris Harun, all yeah, these yeah. legends of Singapore football and I'm just this 18 year old boy who is, at that time I was like so skinny, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> you know. I, Did you get star start? Yeah, no, 100% mm -hmm. I was just like, wow, like this is, this is, this is what I want, you know, this yeah. is, when I walked in I was like, I want to be here every time there is a national yeah. team, yeah. call up a national team tournament, I want to be here. I want to be consistently representing the nation mm. like how these guys were and playing until getting as many oh, yeah. international mm. appearances as possible and now nah, it was it was it was really nice it was really nice and I remember like because you know as a young kid the the, the, the senior guys the, the the veterans would you know tease you a little bit like yeah, I had to to wash their boots yeah, you know, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. carry Happy their yeah, yeah. carry their carry their backpack mm -hmm. you know help them do little stuff yeah. and you know I was like oh, okay I see I yeah, yeah I see I was like, <laughs> oh, okay yeah, yeah, okay I see I'm gonna do this type of stuff now but now it was it was nice and it was it was a really amazing feeling I think everything happened so fast for you I mean yeah. you started playing football when you were 17 and 10 years later. You were playing for the Singapore national team. I mean, yeah. when in, ten, in 10 years, you did that in 10 years. I mean, I, I've been in and around football for as long as I can remember, but I still can't kick a ball straight. <laughs> so it's, that's talent, that is. Nah, well, that's talent, luck, hard work, I think everything comes into place. So, yeah. no, I guess I'm, I, I would say I'm very lucky that everything, I think in, in life, I wouldn't say luck is everything. Of course, you know, you have your hard work, you have your talent and everything but I guess timing and everything plays a place you know yeah, like yeah. just everything in my career so far has fallen into to place and yeah, I'm yeah. very lucky I think with everything and I'm grateful for everything you know God that has given me everything I, I know I think I'm, I'm just very fortunate and I'm very grateful I think luck is the one thing you didn't have in your career because you've obviously got the talent I um, mean Veda who's outside he said you were the, the best left-footed midfielders in Indonesia. I have to uh, see some videos after. Uh, <laughs> he'll show you some. Yeah, okay. You definitely work hard, but the luck, man. No, it's always the luck, the timing. Yeah. That's why I'm here. <laughs> 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 nah, but yeah, I think uh, like a football career, everything is, is very unpredictable. Yeah. You know, one day you could be playing here, the next day you could yeah. be at home yeah. looking for another job. You know, like, Never I guess, know. Never yeah, you never know. Before. I think, like you said, luck, consistency, working hard, being a professional. I think everything has to work together yeah. to make a successful career. So talk to us about Madura. Uh, I mean, how did that come about? <coughs> okay, so Madura. So obviously I finished my national service yeah. in 2022, in December-ish. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, obviously I was still recovering from my ACL. Yeah, yeah. Oh, during the ACL, did you still train with the army? I was just in the army, but I was just sitting down and just chilling. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's why you're still there. Yeah. I was still, no, not all the time. I had like a, we call it a MC. I don't know if you know what it is, like a medical certificate where I could take like medical leave. Right. Okay. So that since I had this medical leave, I didn't have to attend the army. I could just stay at okay. home and go for rehab instead. So I was quite lucky, but sometimes I would have to go in case of anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most of the time I was at home resting or at my gym doing rehab. So 
No, uh, yeah, relocating to Madura. Well, so I just finished uh, Miami in, yeah. November, uh, in December 2022, and then I started slowly coming back in January, February mm -hmm. to football training and all this type of stuff, and then. I played a few game, few more games with Young Lions. I signed like a, uh, a little contract with Young Lions, and then yeah, uh, Coach Fundy one day, Coach Fundy Amos, yeah, yeah. now coach of Pahang, he called mm -hmm. me. I was like, Oh, Jacob, would you like to go to Indonesia to play for yeah. Madura? And of course, I was just like, you know, I think I've come to the point in my career where you know I'm ready to take that step outside mm -hmm. of Singapore. Mm -hmm. You know, I think. The league in Singapore, I'm not gonna say it's a bad league, yeah, but yeah, there's yeah. still a lot of things we need to improve on. Yeah. And I think we're playing with nine teams in a league. Yeah, it's not it's, enough. It's, it's not enough, it's, it's difficult. And with the quality and everything and playing on that astro field week yeah. in, week out. Yeah. I was like, you know, I think now it's time. You know, I think I always had the dream to go outside of Singapore to play anyways. So I think when Coach Fandi gave me this call, I was just like, yeah, I think, I think I'm ready. Just want to make sure you know everything is, is good, everything is ready. And he was like, yeah, you know, I've spoken to like the people in Madura. They're looking for a midfielder slash centre back. Yeah, Arsene played because the Arsene rule yeah. just came about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, and then I was like, okay, I'm ready. And I think everything happened really fast. I think we've been two, three weeks. I signed and I was in Madura because I think they started the preseason. I think it was in May, May, Mayish, yeah. Juneish, June, yeah. yeah, late May. So they contacted me in late, uh, early May. Everything's happened. Talk blah blah blah. Sign and next thing you know, I'm in Madura and yeah, yeah I've enjoyed it so far. And it's been amazing. And the first time, well, how is the first time you came to Madura? How is it like? So of course, I landed in Surabaya, yeah. Yeah. and then I went to my apartment yeah. in Surabaya, and I think the next morning I woke up at. Uh, they told me to wake up at four a.m. because <laughs> tra uh, training is yeah. at in seven. the morning seven, yeah. and we were training in Pamakasan, yeah. so that's a four-hour, three-hour journey by car. So it's like you were back in the military. Yeah, yeah I was just like, <laughs> what? Four a.m.? I was like, no way. Okay, I was like, okay, so I woke up at four, and then obviously crossed the bridge from yeah. Surabaya to the Suramadu Bridge, mm -hmm. and then I uh, was on the way to Pamakasan, and I was looking at it, I was like, wow, this, I wouldn't say like it was different, but I was, you know, two roads, one way, sh 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 cars going oh, left, yeah, right, yeah, motorbikes, yeah, yeah. We, we were weaving out. Yeah, it's a I mess, mean, man. I already know Indonesia traffic and Indonesia motorbikes yeah, and how yeah, it works, you know, like just. Flies. You know, yeah, going in and yeah, out, yeah. driving here. You know, I, I I don't think I can drive here. I don't. No. I'm not driving here, no. so I, no. yeah. I feel like I would. <laughs> kill I would suggest you. To, I would yeah. kill someone, and I I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, the, the driver drove me all the way to Pamukkasan, and I was just like, okay, like this is. And but they already told me Pamukkasan, Madura, in a sense, like it's not the most well developed yeah. mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the only restaurant we have in Pamakasan is Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, it's 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 different, but no, I I I, I love it, and I, I reached a mess in Pamakasan, mm -hmm. changed and had my first training session, and yeah, it was it was crazy hot. Yeah. In, in Pamakasan, I can say we I've gotten a bit darker on my skin. <laughs> you know, a little tan line here and there, so. Nah, yeah, it's it's, it's hot, but uh, no, uh, it, it's it's a beautiful place for me. I, I think it's very peaceful, it's very quiet, yeah, yeah. you know. And I think Madura people are very nice, so nah, I'm, I'm loving it so far. So I'm gonna take you back to the moment uh, Fandi called you. Yeah. At that moment, how much did you know about Indonesian football? Of course, I've heard about it. You know, I've, I've had, we've had a few Singaporean players in the yeah, past yeah, yeah. Who, played in who played in Indonesia: Bahaki, No Alamsha, yeah, yeah. Red One, Precious, Agu Kasmir. Yeah. But I think that was almost 10, 15 years, 10, 15 ago. years ago, 2006, yeah. 2007, yeah. 2008. So, of course, uh, you know, I was like, okay, it's gonna be. I, I haven't heard so much of Indonesian mm -hmm. football, but I've heard, of course, that with the Indonesia national team and all that, how it's progressing very well. And, you know, I think you guys had just won the, the SEA Games before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, okay, you know, I think Indonesia football, I think, is taking a step in the right way, especially, I think, 
after all the tragic events yeah. that happened with the yeah. the, the, sta- Arima, yeah, the, the, the thing yeah. unfortunately that happened and I think with everything that was happening before that I think with the new people the, the precedents and everything that they come in I think Indonesia football mm. is going in the right way and mm. I was just like okay I, you know, obviously once I had the call straight away we researched Madura yeah, yeah, United yeah. of course yeah, yeah. obviously I know about Procedure and all this yeah. stuff and the big yeah. clubs I don't re- I don't know if I knew about Madura. I mean, I'm sure I've saw it before, but I didn't know so yeah, much about yeah. it. You know, so straight away I'm, I'm looking at Madura United. I'm looking at the place, looking at the con- like the the, the state. Mm-hmm. And what you knew? Uh, the players? I knew Faruddin, of course, yeah. captain. You know, national team. Yeah. When when I was making my debut, he was the captain. Really, all this type of stuff in the AFF. Yeah. We played Indonesia yeah. in the national stadium, yeah. and I remember he was playing at the yeah. centre back. So I was like, okay, there's no good team. Then I saw the foreigners, I saw, you know, all the players, I researched everything, yeah. you know, looking yeah. on Wikipedia, yeah. Yeah. Instagram. Instagram, you know, stalking the Instagram page for sorry, one yeah. hour, looking at videos. <laughs> that's no, important, huh? That's the most important <laughs> thing, you know, looking at how it is. And I was like, you know, I think the Indonesian league is taking a, a good step forward. Yeah. You know, I think mm. I can see the, the local players as well. Like, you know, a lot of players will, you know, like Eggy just came back to Indonesian yeah. League, I think yeah. we thought yeah, as well. So I was like, okay, you know, the Indonesian League is, is it's it's getting a step up, and I think you know it was the right time and the right you know offer. And I was just like, you know, I think this is a sign from God that I should take this step. And I was just like, you know, I'm gonna take it. So, and then when you came, here, what was your expectation? Did that, did did anything surprise you? Surprise? No. Re- I mean, of course, I I kind of knew of. I mean, if we are in Southeast Asia, you yeah. know, like, I guess the culture here, every country is a bit similar, yeah. you know, like, of course, Singapore, you can say, you know, it's very well developed mm-hmm. and all this mm-hmm. type of stuff mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. But I wouldn't say nothing surprised me, of course, like, you know, just being here, the football here, I think with the fans and yeah. the culture and like the staff and everything, like something that I really like in Indonesia and especially in Madura, it's the staff and the the culture of the, the management. I think it's like very family yeah, oriented. Yeah, together. You know, like the staff are helping me with yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm so treated so well, and I, I I I'm so grateful for them because like the team manager is making sure I'm, I'm everything is good. The kit man is making sure my jersey, my socks, my yeah. boots, everything is okay. My the the physios are asking me, hey, do you need a massage before training? Everything, you know, we don't get that so much in Singapore because in uh-huh. Singapore, of course, you have your masseuse and everything, but it's a mo- a lot more because people here are so dedicated. I feel, yeah, yeah. I, that's one thing I would say. Like people in, in Asia, they are so dedicated to their job. Yeah, you know, they work so hard. They are so passionate. Like every staff in the club they're so proud to be working for Madura United and I have so much respect for them and I, I, I think I'm so thankful for them and yeah I think that's that's something that really took me back you know I was just treated so well and I mean something that also took me back was they were eating chili patties with tau goreng before <laughs> training <laughs> getting that extra boost <laughs> the players which is I'm like okay I see you guys the chili must have Burn the insides yeah, and yeah, help yeah, you run yeah, a little yeah. faster. You but tried it? No, of course. I, I, I love mm. spicy food. Ah, okay. I'm a big fan of spicy food. I love your ayam penyet and oh, all yeah, this yeah. with the chili and all that. I love it. And your mi ayam, extra spicy oh. for the sauce. <laughs> I love it, but uh, now nah, yeah, before training a bit questionable. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe you sh- shit a bit, and yeah. run faster. But for me, it doesn't work like that. I need to after training. Yeah. Okay, let me eat it spicy, and I can shit before I sleep. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I guess no. It was, uh, but I think it's very nice. So yeah, I mean that's a good tactic, man, to eat chili party before you before a game, then shit on your opponents. Yeah. No one would want to mark you. No one wants to smell. You smell. <laughs> Exactly, that's a good exactly, so that's nah, a good tactic. Yeah. You, you need to try that. Uh, one day I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll see me uh, thir- 20 minutes coach. Yeah. <laughs> Substitution. But what was it? it's like, uh, obviously Singapore City and Madura City, it's totally <laughs> different. Yeah, very Anime. different. How did you find, how, how did you adapt to the city? No, I guess, of course, like you said, it's, it's very different. I mean, the mess and everything is yeah. f- different from living style in Singapore, the food and everything. But I wouldn't say it was difficult to adapt. You know, I, I love Indonesian food and 
I think also the thing that helped me was all the the local players like mm. Faruddin. Mm. I have I'm very close with all the youngsters like Veda, Salim, mm. all these guys, Iksan, or, you know, all these young players in Madura. I think they really helped me, you know, adapt and they every time I because I can't ride a motorbike, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm also too scared. They take they, they take, take me on a yeah. motorbike to Indomaret to to buy my water <laughs> to buy maybe some snacks and all this. I'm always like, hey. Salim, let's go. My, the That's young the player. full Indonesian experience, man. <laughs> let's go to the Indomar on the motorbike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting my carrying my bag on the way back. So no, I think with them helping me, I think I think Indonesian people are very nice and very welcoming as well. Like I said, and I think they they welcome me with two hands and they help me adapt. And of course, it was difficult at first because I guess you know I'm I'm used to uh, living with my family and all this type of stuff. You know, it's my first time living away from my mom yeah. and dad you know so as a 23 year old boy never once cooked in his life yeah. uh, i mean i've cooked but you know, not, not, indomie not, yeah. you know what i mean like <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's that's like you know not even cooking you yeah, know so yeah, yeah. i've cooked that but like you know not knowing how to cook not knowing how to do his laundry mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. like you know like it was like a bit of out of my comfort zone, but I think yeah. that's what I needed. You know, I was too comfortable in yeah. Singapore, living that life and l coming out of my shell, letting me grow as a person and as a footballer. I needed it, and I feel like this last six months I've enjoyed every single process from moving from Singapore to Surabaya, Surabaya to Madura. Yeah. Whenever we have ho off getting the driver to drive us all back to Surabaya. the apartment in Surabaya, all the foreigners and sometimes me asking the local players, hey, let's come to Surabaya, let's go grab a bite, let's go, you know, enjoy, you know, a little yeah, bit, because, yeah. I mean, it's difficult to yeah. enjoy in Madura, yeah, you know, let's go. You can't, you can't buy anything, you know? you can't, There's no shopping mall yeah. or whatever, you can't even do a bit of shopping or whatever, <laughs> so, nah, you know, I think being with the, the players, the local players and all that, like, the physios, I think they're always just caring for me and asking if I'm okay, yeah. asking if I need anything. I think they helped me adapt and, you know, of course, the early stages was difficult because I feel like I, I knew Bahasa a little bit. Yeah. Like, I know I know Malay. In, in yeah. Singapore, they speak Malayu, Malayu, yeah. yeah? But of course, my Malayu is not, not, too, good. not too good as well. Uh, I mean, of course, I know the basics as well because majority of the players in Singapore are Malay, right. Ma Malayu, yeah, so yeah. they they always speak it in the changing room and I pick up here and yeah, there. Yeah. So, of course, at first was a bit difficult to mm. converse, yeah. but of course you got your know, Google Translate, blah, blah, blah. But I think slowly with time, I'm slowly picking up the language. I'm getting a little bit better. I'm not great yet, but hopefully soon I can be more fluent. And uh, now, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been an amazing experience in this last seven months that I'm enjoying it tremendously. Yeah, I think the the one thing that helps is that the fact that you speak yeah. Malayu, because I mean it helps a lot. No, of course. Because I mean, there's not a lot of Indonesian football players who can speak English. No, of course, not so much, not as much. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. No, but like f like for the, the the Brazilian players and you know, Mexican, my uh, our team we have like four Brazilian yeah, and one Mexican. Yeah. The Mexican can speak English. Okay. Rivera, Rivera. he can speak very very good English. And, uh, but the Brazilians not so much. A little mm. bit. Jaja, who's been here for yeah, yeah, yeah. for three years already, so he can speak a bit of Bahasa, oh. and the rest not so good English. Yeah. But look, oh, when Lulinia was here, Lulinia. Yeah. he could speak very good English. Cause he used to play in Korea yeah. and Japan for a bit. So like them also, you know, talking to me, blah blah blah. I think it was good that we could have this connection because for them also, sometimes I'm the translator for them okay. because you know, like I can speak a bit of Bahasa, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they speak to me a bit of English and all that type of stuff and. I mean, my Portuguese and because my girlfriend is Colombian, okay. Oh, I see. So, so she speaks Spanish, but she speaks Portuguese as well. So okay. talking so you know to her a, bit. a little <laughs> bit, like uh, not so much, but yeah, yeah, yeah. when they speak in Portuguese or Spanish, I can understand a little oh, bit because yeah. Spanish and Portuguese is a bit like yeah, similar. Similar. Malayu and Bahasa, yeah, you know, yeah. something like that. So, so yeah, I can understand a little bit, but yeah. What about the long away trips? How do oh, you find that? It's tough. Because yeah. in Singapore, there's no such thing as away games. Yeah. You travel 30 minutes by a bus to your away stadium. Yeah, it's just a different stadium. It's, just not, like, a different city. it's not a different city, you yeah. know. Like, in my, first, my first game here was against Bandung. Yeah. In, Bandung. in Bandung. So we traveled, I think, two days. We always travel two days before yeah, the game. Yeah. And then like, damn, this is a whole different feeling, you know. Traveling in an airplane. Yeah. 
to an, a game and then traveling from Jakarta airport to Bandung, Bandung by yeah. bus. I'm like, wow, this is. I felt professional, you know. Like I never felt this feeling in Singapore. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I was like, damn, this is like. This is, real. this is real. This is real. This, this is what a footballer should yeah, be. You know? like, yeah, this yeah. is what a footballer life should yeah. be. The away days where yeah. you know you feel, I guess, a bit of fatigue from yeah. traveling and everything, and then you go into the stadium and you're hearing the away fans, the Bandung fans, screaming, booing you. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you don't really have that in Singapore. You know, and like yeah, away days are, are tough, really tough. Like when you when you're in that bus for, especially when you travel in bus for four or five hours. So we travel from. Surabaya to Jogja by bus. You're in that bus. You know, my knees are yeah. hurting. Yeah. You know, my, um, I need to rest my legs yeah. up. I need to go to the toilet, but the toilet in the bus is disgusting. Of course, man. <laughs> the bus need to stop. The, the, the players <laughs> took a shit there. And I don't want to smell their shit. You know, like. So like, take a bottle, take a bottle. I probably pee all over. <laughs> the, 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 the bus is good, 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 good. Everywhere, probably on my team. Oh, sorry, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, it's 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 tough. It's very tough, you know, traveling. You know, like like I said, like coming here also made me realize how important. Like I mean, getting my ACL taught yeah. me about recovery, but coming here taught me another level of recovery yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, that weight is and how I need to take care of my body in the plane and my sleep my food how I'm eating before the game everything it's 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 so important and my recovery like after a game maybe we, from Bandung or from let's say we go to play Barito in Banjamasin uh, we take the plane and maybe in three four days you have another game like you you have to travel, travel come back and you're straight on it you know you can't take maybe one day of rest just uh Maybe okay, you can take a half a day or whatever, but you you know you're you're on it the next day already. Yeah. Like, I need to start focusing on the next game, recovering fast and being ready for the next game. So, you know, it, it's, it's it's I enjoy it. Like I said, it, it's a nice feeling. Of course, it's difficult, yeah. but I'm enjoying it because this is how not football should be, but it's football. This is f football for you. You know, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. that professional side of football, and it's what you have to go through. No, yeah. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. So, talk to me about your first game. Was it against? Bando, Bando, yes. He drew, yeah? 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, yeah. 1-1. One, one. Jaja scored in the first eight minutes mm -hmm. and we conceded a penalty in like the 80th minute. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, hey, playing in Bandong, first game. I mean, of course, Big uh, pressure, uh, all, yeah. all, all, all my teammates were like, yeah, Bandong is one of the yeah. best teams in, yeah. in Indonesia. They have the best fans. Yeah. You know, I see their Instagram, 5 million followers yeah. or something. And I'm like, OK, yeah. this is some real stuff. You know, I see in Indomie on yeah. their shirt or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, the most sports. I'm like, OK, I want to eat now. No, like, <laughs> but no, like, <laughs> you know, like, <clears throat> of course, all my teammates were saying, like, yeah, this is a big game. You know, like, hey, this is serious. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, first game, Bandung away, mm -hmm. fans will come. And then when I first step onto the field to warm up, we walked out as a team and I'm like, wow. Like all the fans yeah. booing us, I'm like, no, nah, it was a very nice. I mean, as bad as it sounds, like fans booing me, it was a nice feeling, yeah. you know. Like it's 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 a good feeling, and uh, I was like, this is what it's like to play in Indonesia. That's and, what uh, you want. Though. This is what yeah. I want to play week in week out yeah. like this with fans, crazy fans, fans booing me, fans cheering me, you know. Like I, I, I'm I'm enjoying this, and of course I would have loved to get a win, but a draw away. You know, it was a, it was a decent result, and I think it was yeah. a decent start. Of course, I didn't feel like I had my best game. I think, I think the difference in Singapore football and Indonesia football, Indonesia football is a lot physical. You know, it's More very intense. tough. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of running, a lot yeah. of you know, getting yeah. stuck yeah. in. Smart. You know, yeah. a lot of pushing, shoving. You know, yeah. very physical. But it, it, I, I'm enjoying it, and you know, slowly, slowly adapting to the league, and uh, I think. You know, I'm really enjoying it, playing away, playing yeah. at home in Pamakasan oh, or Bangkalan. You know, I'm loving it and psh, it's, it's, it's really, really, really nice. What would you say was your toughest game to date? Toughest game to date? I would say... Oof, to date, yeah. Toughest game. Maybe the the two one loss to Borneo in Pamakasan. At home, yeah. Tough, yeah, at home we lost two one. What was that tough game? It was a tough game because first of all we played at three o'clock in Pamakasan, wow. so that is 
for me, it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> So that's it's not right. For yeah, me, you have that's to <laughs> go out for warm up at, at two. Two. The yeah, sun. <laughs> the yeah. sun. In Pamukkasan, there's no shade at all. Yeah. Like you don't get yeah. like it's an open air yeah. stadium. Yeah. So the sun is right there, and I'm right here. So I'm just <laughs> I, the look the I look up and like I oh. I cannot see. You know, like I'm just like so that for me is number one. And of course, Borneo is is a very good team, yeah, very yeah. disciplined very well side. Now, I think they're doing very well. They have a very good midfield yeah. with. Adam Ellis and yeah, Stefano, Stefano and you know very good really players you know very good players so it was tough and I think we were on a good streak before that I think we had won yeah. eight games in a row nine games in a row or something like that and we were first and then we played that game against Borneo we lost 2-1 and then after that we slowly had a dip yeah. in form I think we lost from then we lost, we drew two games and we lost four games or something like that. And then we slowly started, because we were first yeah. for like a solid... Yeah, yeah, for a long, it's quite a long 12 time. games yeah. or 12, 13, 10 games and we were doing well and then we lost that game and I think we lost 2-1 to, uh, to a silly mistake that we did in the back uh, in the 85th minute or something and we were, that brought us down and we slowly started. But now we're slowly picking back up but hopefully we can put the phone back but I think Borneo have a good side this season and yeah yeah one know, of the favorites no? yeah one of the favorites so far that, that always I don't know that always happened to Madura they start very yeah well. I've, I've, yeah. I've heard this theory where they say like Madura starts always very well very well and, and then, then slowly yeah go down I don't know I don't know I don't know if it's some myth or some ghost you know yeah. whatever but it's like a curse man yeah, yeah, it's a how curse how hopefully, it hopefully we can pick up yeah. again now we're fifth so we're still there yeah. you know we just need to now I guess the restart we hopefully can pick up our form again yeah. and you know get back to to winning ways regularly so so yeah what was the target at the, uh, at the beginning of the season? I mean, of course, champion. just champion. Of, I mean, yeah. I think every season you go into, but yeah. of course, with the team we had, I think we, ha we have a pretty strong team, yeah. you know. I mean, of course, have, uh, yeah, a very yeah. good team. And I think, of course, now with the, 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 the format of the league is to become the top four, yeah. your Ampat um, Basar. So, so, of course, that was our target. You know, mm -hmm. we're still there. So, I think, I mean, we're still there. It's it's possible. I think it's more than possible. Yeah. You know, we still have. I think I counted twelve more games or mm -hmm. so, and we are three points behind Samarang, and I think five points behind Bali or Bali. someone. Bali. And we have one game in hand, yeah, yeah. which we'll play on the thirtieth. So you know, I think it's still up for grabs, and yeah. I think that's the goal. I mean, for for the team and for me individually, my goal was you know to play as much, to get as much minutes yeah. as possible, which I think has been doing not bad, you know, to, to of course, because of my ACL, to get back into the national yeah. team as well, yeah. which I've thankfully been able to, to participate in the, the recent uh, World Cup qualifiers, mm. playing against South Korea, yeah. Sohee Min Son, yeah. that was yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah. surreal feeling, you know, playing in Korea, 60,000 fans, 70% of them were females, by the way. Yeah. In the fan, yeah. 70% of the. They're only there to see Son. Son and uh, and me. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's no. probably in the <laughs> so Everyone comes to see you. Son and your Lee Kang Lin and all, yeah. all this, yeah, Kim all Jay. Kim and Jay, all this. But yeah, it was a good feeling, as well, a very nice experience. But yeah, for for me individually, it was just to, I guess after that, especially my 2022, how it en ended and all that was just to to get as much game time and to get back to, I guess you could say, the old Jacob Mahler. Yeah. yeah. So, no, nah, nah, I'm, I'm so happy that Madura has given me this opportunity to play and I, I'm really enjoying it so far. So, well, yeah. What's the manager like in Madura? Ma our coach, head yeah. coach, he's crazy. What are you No, so he's a Brazilian Mauricio, <laughs> yeah. Coach yeah. Mauricio. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing coach. Very, very good coach, you know, tactics, works us hard, you know, very good. But he, he loves to, 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 to push us and like he's crazy. He will shout at us, hey, run, you know, you know. But uh, no, it's, it's good. He's very, he's a very, very, very good coach for me. I think one of the best coach, coaches I've worked with so okay. far. You know, he, he tactically wise, he is so intelligent, yeah. you know, like I think we play a very good brand of football in Madura. We like to keep the ball a lot you know, the way we move mm -hmm. and everything. I think with him under us, like I think we've been doing very well. 
But uh, not yet. He's a bit crazy. He loves to to <laughs> shout and push us and make us work very very hard. But I think it's it's something we needed. So it's yeah, very yeah, very yeah, very yeah. good. I mean, it seems to be working. So no, I mean, hopefully he yeah, continues yeah, yeah. to work. And you know, I think the players like him, and I think everyone is really enjoying working under him. What I find interesting is uh, you started off as a midfielder. Yes. Right. And then you told me in Young Lions and in the national team you played as a centre back, center back. Center, as a centre half, and then now you 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 play more as a midfielder. Yeah. So which one would you say is your best position? My best. Yeah. Uh, my best, I would say, centre mid, mm -hmm. but the one I prefer, I would say centre back because I don't have to run. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. No. I mean, if I, I would say centre mid. I really enjoy playing centre mid. I guess you know, getting to attack and defend. You know, yeah. be more box to box, yeah. running up and down. Of course, it's tiring, very very tiring. <laughs> you know, playing as like I said at 3 p.m. in Pamakasan, running up and yeah. down, tw 10 minutes, and I'm, <laughs> I'm huffing and puffing, and I'm, coach, coach, what? <laughs> Water and I'm like, you know, like any break I get, I drink water. But yeah, of course, like uh, no a midfielder, I feel like I get to be more involved, mm -hmm. you know, build up and all this type of stuff. So I, I, I enjoy playing midfield, but I, like I always say, like I, I don't have a preference. I, I, I would yeah. play anything I need to play as long as I'm on the field. Yeah, you know, playing centre back, of course, it's it's a completely different position mm -hmm. from playing midfield. You know, midfield you are playing sometimes with your back behind yeah. the goal yeah. so playing things at the back you're always you know face forward yeah. easier to play but I, I enjoy both and whatever position I have to play I'll do my best and that's all that matters for me you know getting to be playing 90 minutes or however minutes starting it's yeah. the most important yeah, thing so for a footballer yeah of course grow. yeah and you've proved that wherever the manager puts you mm -hmm. you yeah. can yeah. Bring you can bring out the best. Uh, hopefully, best hopefully, version. hopefully, hopefully. And um, yeah, that's n that's not something that's easy to do, is it? No, of course it's difficult. Yeah, it's because yeah. like like I said, like you're playing two different positions. Yeah, it's yeah. Very hard to sometimes adapt. Sometimes you know, like playing centre back and midfield. Like I said, it's it's uh, midfielder. You have to keep looking yeah. around, check your yeah. surroundings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Centre back, like I said, you only look forward mm -hmm. and. But of course, centre back, you have more responsibility because whenever you concede a goal, is it's gonna be your fault. Yeah. So there is your pros and cons, but at the end of the day, like I said, as long as I'm on the field, you don't care. That, I don't care. That's yeah, the main yeah, important yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So also that's good for the team. You have a uh, one player who can play in. Yeah, I guess positions. more versatile. Yeah. yeah, you know, you can play two or more positions. Yeah. You you add it's a added bonus yeah. for the team. Yeah. So yeah. You, you uh, we've talked about Madura's target at the beginning of the season, but what was your or what is your personal target? I mean, Mine? Yeah, not just only for, this for, for Madura? No, not just for not only this the season, future. Your, yeah, for your career. Oh, I mean, of course, now I'm 23, 24, I'm still, mm -hmm. I guess I would say young yeah. Yeah, to a certain yeah, extent. Yeah. You know, of course, I'm getting old, I'm feeling old. <laughs> 24 this year, I'm like, right, at the start of the year, I was, when it hit 12, 12 a.m. in mm -hmm. the morning, I was like, damn, this year I'm turning 24 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I remember like six years ago, I was 18 and I was just having like, yeah, I don't yeah, care about yeah, you know. Yeah. Now you know, life starts getting more yeah. serious and I guess you, you start thinking more about, about the future, future. About the future, your life. Mm -hmm. And I guess, you know, of course, my goal is to, to go as far as possible, you know, yeah. of course, I think every footballer wants to play in Europe, yeah, of course. you know, of course, it, it's, it, but it's, it's, it's not easy, yeah. you know, but of course, just to, to be consistent, just to be injury free, mm. just to be making sure that I get to play at the, the highest, highest level, level possible yeah. for myself yeah. and also representing my country, Singapore, whenever I can, whenever the opportunity is. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I, I aspire to do. I just I just really want to be playing at the best possible level, playing my best football. Wherever it may be, whether it's in Singapore, Indonesia, I don't know where in Europe, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I just want to be enjoying my football, playing at a good level, at my best level. You know, being able to showcase my talents, yeah, and yeah. of course, at the end of the day, I want to make my my family, my mom and dad, who have sacrificed yeah. and given me so much. You know, I want to make them happy, make yeah, them proud. Yeah. You know, I'm sure make they them are now. Hopefully, oh, yeah. hopefully, you know, sometimes my mom is 
<laughs> so more time, time, yeah. of, time of moms. Always, always. Especially with Chinese mom. Uh, <laughs> they call my mom the tiger mom. The right? tiger mom. So oh, I like that. Actually. The tiger. Yeah, it's a thing good, in Singapore. Right? Like a Chinese mother is like the tiger mother. Yeah, so it's yeah, like the yeah. one that's always like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you better do this. You better like every Asian mom. Yeah. Every, every, every Asian mom. Yeah. So like I mean like every night now before like I sleep I have to call my mom to report I'm still alive. <laughs> like oh, yes, mom. I'm, today I've eaten my dinner. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah. eaten my dinner. I've eaten my lunch. Uh, everything's okay. I'm in yeah. bed. I'm ready to sleep. Thank you. Good night. You'll always be her little boy, eh? Yeah, of course. Because yeah. yeah. especially being the only child. Yeah. And mommy. Yeah. And I'm mommy. Fasty. Fasty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, especially being the only child and like, uh, yeah. and like for me moving to Madura was like she she says it's like the hardest thing for her. Yeah, but I mean, of course. Luckily. Singapore and Indonesia is yeah, she can always just yeah. travel here yeah. so but like for her like this is the first time me moving out yeah. so yeah, apart from you yeah. yeah this is like her most difficult yeah. time you know like because like always because my both my parents work from home so they their company is based in Denmark or used to be now they're yeah. both retired because okay. my parents are living life living life as they should you know getting old yeah. retiring enjoying life as they should so so they can come whenever yeah, they want yeah they can come whenever they want which is which I'm lucky for and I'm grateful for so now yeah they 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 they, they come here like when I first came before my mom came and she was like okay Jacob I'm gonna set your apartment up I'm gonna make sure you have everything nice yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay I, I mean I can sit back yeah, and relax yeah. and you can make my apartment look nice so I was like okay sure thank you so nah she, she's done so much so at the end of the day I just want to make my mom and my dad and my loved ones the people yeah, around yeah. me who have supported me in my career so far just make them happy and make them proud and hopefully you know give back to them as well so so yeah yeah, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing, yeah, isn't I it? Think, yes. Football is just what? Football is just football. At the end of the day, I think yeah. football, like, of course, football is my life. But, you know, there are bigger things than football. You know, my family, my loved ones, my friends, the people who are there for me when I'm down or whatever. These guys are my life. You know, this, yeah. that, that is my life. So football will always just be football. You know, I guess as a footballer career, you know, you can only do football for maybe until yeah, you're 35. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're lucky with injuries and career, everything, short, yeah. yeah. If you're lucky, 35, 36, mm. you know, we have in Madura Salamat, Salamat who's, who's, who's playing till his 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. So much respect, you know, like 40 Two years, yeah, yeah, really 40 years old, even before this Beto, Beto playing yeah. till his 42. Yeah. Yeah. Is, still playing now. Yeah, still playing Liga Dua Liga now. Dua. So, Nah, yeah, it's just, yeah, I know. Football will, will be part of my life forever, but I can only do football for so, yeah. for, for so long, unless I want to be a coach, so who knows what the future will hold, yeah, so yeah. Take it, if, <coughs> if there's one country that you would like to play at, where well, would it be? Because, I mean, let's be honest, the Indonesian league is not no, of course. something that, it's, it's not a place where a player where should be spending, yeah. Yeah, spending their course, prime of course, years of course, at. Of course. So. I mean, if I would say in Asia, let's let's say Asia first, mm -hmm. I would say Japan. 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 Yeah. Japan or Korea. These two mm -hmm. very, very good countries. Not Saudi, no? Not Saudi. Hey, uh, man. Yeah, hey, now a good, good fat boy there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. Usually because when I think of Asia, I'm thinking of Japan. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Hey, Saudi. Now, hey, Saudi. That's true. Hey, Saudi thing may be good, but yeah. uh, I think for me, so I love Asian food. I, I would love to. Ah, I, I love Japanese food yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm a bit biased to Japan. So I love Japan and Korean food. Mm -hmm. So playing in Japan would be a dream and the standard there, the level. Yeah. I mean, look at the Japan national team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Levels above. Yeah. Levels, levels, and uh, no, nah, I mean that. But of course, if I would have to go worldwide. Yeah. Playing in England and Manchester yeah. United, of course. Or oh, even playing in Spain, in Real Madrid. I think that's yeah. like that's that's a, yeah. that's a, that's like that's the dream, you know. Ah, United, bro, the, I think you will do a better job than Maguire. I yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> hey, you're already playing for MU in Indonesia. I'm playing for MU. MU. Yeah. It's so only that's, that's, that's a start. That's the next step. Yeah, yeah you're gonna start somewhere. Hopefully, your mom is okay if you play in England or in Spain. <laughs> I should probably move there then. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, listen, it's 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 been a very, you know, interesting one. It's been a, a fascinating one. Oh, and we thank you for that. But a pleasure. Just before we close it, I want you to kind of create a starting eleven okay. of players of the toughest 
players that you've ever come up against in Indonesia. In Indonesia, in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah. come so up against her. Huh? So I'm not going to name anyone from Madura United. No, that's going to be it's going to be very biased. Yeah, it's, you know? Exactly. So, so what formation? What formation are you going for? We're going to go three four three. Three four three. Three four three. The standard, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So in goal. In goal. I'll say Nadeo, Borneo yeah. keeper. Very, very good keeper. Okay, I, played, I played him against him when I was in Manila Sea Games. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one we lost, Singapore 2-0, th I think. 2-0, I think we lost. Oh, you lost? To Indonesia, yeah. You lost? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Indonesia. <laughs> but no, nah, Nadeo in goal for yeah, sure. I think yeah, yeah. a very, very good keeper. Uh, good height, good... Yeah. Good, good, good short good stopping. Face. Good face, very <laughs> handsome guy, very handsome guy. <laughs> Come on. But uh, nah, very good with his feet, you know, good shot stopper as yeah. well. Better than Onana. <laughs> Some would say, I don't know, Onana, what is he doing now? But uh, <laughs> nah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Nadeo in goal. Three at the back. Three at the back, I would say. I really like Risky Reader. Yeah, yeah really like Risky Reader. The way he plays, yeah. I think, very commanding, very. Yeah. For his age as well, he's 20. What talent, eh? 21. I think very, very good potential. Yeah. Similar to my age, you know, and I remember there was one game in Singapore where Singapore, the last AFF Suzuki. 2018? No. No. Oh, last year, no? No, no, the one where yeah. they played in Singapore. In oh, the National Stadium, the oh, one okay, the yeah, semi-finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 22. Where we scored the free kick yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. we got a red card and oh. he got our, mm. okay, okay. he got one of our players yeah. sent off, I remember, but no, for his age. Yeah. But I, I didn't even know he was, I think, 19 at that point. For his age, no, I was born in 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2001, 2001, so he's one year younger than me. Yeah. So, yeah, man. no, for his age, b bunch of potential, yeah, probably the best center half uh, we've had in the year. For yeah, like local, yeah, very, 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 very good center back. Beside him, oh, uh, I like um, the the Hulk of Indonesia. Oh, why, 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 why you? Yeah, yeah, he's a hey, for me. Very, very good center, very fast, yeah, and also very, very good on the ball. For me, the way he's this two risky Rido and him, I feel like very, very two good center backs for for Indonesia. They yeah. are very good on yeah. the ball, yeah. very calm, very composed, very, very good. You played with yeah. him, um, with you him. agree with everything he said? Yeah, at that time, we were new to because I was with him in Smarang, yeah, yeah, Smarang yeah. yeah, I came with him also, and oh, he was also a new player, yeah, new players, me, him. Feda also came in yeah. the oh, same, okay. same yeah, year. This is like his breakout year, yeah, right? Yeah, this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this time, I didn't know about him, but uh, every day, you know, I train, train with him and I saw a lot of potential. No, I, I think something that I think he has a lot to build yeah. on and I think he's a yeah. very, very good player. Yeah. I, and it's very bet. consistent, you know? Very, 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 and very strong. Very strong, yeah. Very strong player. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, yeah, yeah. That's, it's why, very, they that's why they call him Hulk. Exactly, exactly. And then beside. Them, uh, I would say his partner Lucas. Oh yeah, Lucas Gama. Lucas Gama, very good player as well. These two centre backs from Samarang, very good yeah. on the ball. For me, I like you know ball playing ball centre playing backs. Yeah. You know, very good on the ball. You know, keep it simple. Yeah. Very That's modern good. football. Yeah. Modern football. Yeah. Now, now football is all about possession. Yeah. yeah. How you move the ball. Yes. Even goalkeepers have goalkeeper to play with their feet. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You see Edison and all that yeah. in the city. So that's the back three. Mm -hmm. We're going to midfield. The midfield two. Ricky Kambura. Kambura. Oh. That guy runs like <laughs> yeah. there's no tomorrow. <laughs> this yeah. guy is like Forrest Gump. You know Forrest Gump? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Run, Forrest, run. Yeah, literally, he runs. <laughs> Every, I remember the time we played, we lost to Dewa at home, I think 4 1. Our biggest defeat. Oh. He was everywhere, everywhere that day. Yeah. Every single. He's got ten one, lungs, man. One of the best players I've played so against so far, like yeah. internationally, hundred percent for me. The way he covers the grass, phenomenal, phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal, phenomenal player. He is. It's interesting because I think he came out out of nowhere. Cause yeah, it was about at, five years ago. No one knows about him. He was at Mojokerto, PSM. Yeah, Liga Dua. Yeah, and then he moved to PSS. Mm -hmm. Sleman. Sleman. That's where everything oh, starts to go in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah also, And then yeah? in, when it was at Persibaya, boom. No, for me, very. I'm like, I was 80th minute, I was tired, and I've seen 
you're still running. <laughs> you're still running beside me, just running up and down the field, pff, covers every blade of grass. Yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very good player. Beside him. Beside him. Oof. Oof. Let me think. Many options. Many options. We've got so mm. many midfielders. Wow. Let me go left left wing back, yeah, yeah? yeah. left wing back first, yeah. Jakob. Jakob said. Yeah. 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 yeah, another one that runs a lot. And I <laughs> saw him play the other day against, against I- Iraq. Iraq. Yeah. Iraq and yeah, yeah, Vietnam. Made, yeah. Very, very good player. Very, very, very good player. And he can play on both sides. Both yeah. sides yeah. Left and right. Uh, he can play anywhere. He can play centre back and think I mean it's a bit small, but running up and yeah. down. Very, yeah. very, very, very good technically player yeah. as well. Okay, right center, right wing, right, right wing, wing back. Yancha. No. Yancha, yeah. <laughs> his brother, honestly, yeah. both of them, both of these guys. The same, yeah. same ba- basically, basically, I mean, copy paste, you know. <laughs> like, I mean, they look the same as well, so. <laughs> the way they play also the same. Yeah, basically. If you watch Tsubasa, they're the Tachibana Tachibana. twins. <laughs> exactly, so, nah, two very, very good players. Yeah. Two brothers that are amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, right center, mid. I would say Messi Doro. Okay. Oh, okay. Messi Doro. Solo, yeah. Percy Solo. Yeah. Very, very good, good technical, technical, yeah. technical yeah. player. Yeah. Obviously, there's your Mark Clark and yeah. all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say Messi Doro. Because when I played against him, it was tough. It was tough mm-hmm. for me. Because he was a very technical, yeah. you know, get into the spaces yeah. behind me and receive the ball and all this type of stuff. So, okay. very, very good. Now for the front three, yeah? Yeah. So, well, this is where we'll you start have with the right side. The right side. Or the left side? The right side. Jakob and the answer? I mean, they could play there as well, to be exactly. fair. There's too many. There's Ch- uh, Chiro will play on the left. Oh, no? Okay. Chiro, Chiro, Chiro Elvis. Incredible technical. Oof, fast and he's yeah. strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him and Da Silva, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll put Da Silva in front. Okay. David Da Silva has to be. Okay. For me, it's him or Gustavo. Gustavo. So, now in procedure. Now in procedure, yes, yeah. now in procedure. Yeah. Very, very good. But I think the Silva, with his strength yeah. and everything, and his yeah. finishing yeah. and his speed. speed. For the size he has, and for the speed yeah. he has, it's crazy. And he's Complete. been doing that for years. He's yeah. been with um, like, what, Bayankara. Oh, yeah, Bayankara, Persebaya. Yeah. Then he moved to Korea, and then he came back, back to Indonesia, and still the same player. Same, yeah. Right wing. Hmm. Whew. Wita. Wita. Yeah. I've been playing against him for many years as yeah, well. Yeah, since he's, young, yeah. he's around the same age as yeah, me yeah. as well. So 2001. 2001 as well, same as Rishi Rito. Mm. So, very, very good technical player on the ball, dribbling. Mm. Very, very good. So, now, nah, yeah. I mean, there's so many. I mean, so many technically good players yeah, here. Yeah. So good foreigners. The yeah. quality of the foreigners here. And yeah. Even the quality of local players. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I think, like, I look and I, I look at some of the youngsters in Madura and I'm like, the way Indonesia produces talent, mm-hmm. it's like a constant cycle. From, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, all my physios tells me like, oh yeah, in Indonesia it's all about reproducing. Yeah. <laughs> reproducing, reproducing. Everyone here <laughs> loves making babies. <laughs> 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 Everyone here loves making babies. <laughs> so there's Everyone in the world there's loves never, making babies. There's, there's, there's never going to be a stop of, uh, of, yeah, a, of yeah, talent. Yeah. Everyone's just, you know. <laughs> you we, mean, you <laughs> mean. Yeah, exactly. We call it, we call it here Sangean. Sangean? Yeah. yeah. Indonesian people are Sangean. Sangean, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. substitution. <laughs> or, or I still like to call it Bieber. What's Bieber? Bira Hiber. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what my that's what my physio always tells me. Here is the constant reproduction cycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five, seven kids, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Then, so that's the Jacob Mahler FC. So, so but let's tell us. What do you th- where do you think that team yeah. would finish in Liga Satu? And um, yeah, Jacob, once again, listen, it's been a very thank you. Uh, a, a special episode, as I said in the beginning. Uh, I know I knew it's going to be special, and it, it was special. It's, it, it was an eye opening, I would say. Um, thank you very much for doing this with us. Thank you very pleasure much. Pleasure to have you here. Thank for you for sharing. Thank you. It was a pleasure. To sharing come everything. Thank yeah. you so much for having yeah. me. I really appreciate it. We've had this. great, great insights. So, thank you very much. We've, we wish you all the best with Madura. Thank you. Appreciate and, uh, it. The Singapore national team. The Singapore national appreciate team with, the Ma- so with Manchester yeah. United. Yeah. And hopefully, <laughs> Manchester United uh, this year will finish below Newcastle United. Probably. Uh, so At this rate, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. see. Hopefully.
Jacob, once again, thank you very thank much, you man. Much. Thank you. All the best. All the best.